while we only got a small glimpse of the upcoming suit that will be worn by David in the upcoming Superman reboot, a brand new scoop has provided details on what we can expect from the final look. So while nothing is official here, what we are talking about is insiders and one that's a little bit more trusted because as far as I can track it down to, this one person was responsible for leaking details in regards to the Daredevil suit that we would see. And when we finally saw the set photos from Born Again, it was a 99% match. So maybe there's something here, maybe there isn't, I don't know. But let's get to the suit. Apparently, this is what the final suit is going to look like and be based on. Not exactly like this, but very close and inspired by this. Now, if you look at this, it's a lot more of what you would consider a modern Superman suit. You know, um, the one thing, the key takeaway here for me is the lines. If this is true, and I think you get a hint at these lines that are like separating elements and patterns in that close emblem look, I kind of see it, I think. If this is true, then clearly Marvel Studios influence with the layers, which I'm always a fan of because I like that separation. You know, Insomniac did it with Spider-Man. They add in those random lines. It's just enough to not be plain. And again, if you're looking at something like this, big emblem, I like it. I'm all down for this. Also, my favorite live action Superman suit ever also has this. I'll give you three seconds to figure out which suit it is. And then I'll show it to you. You you probably know. You probably know exactly which one it is. Here it is. Yup, it's got the lines, the separation, and everything. Although this is my all-time favorite, but he only wears it just briefly. So the Fleischner suit is added to question, I guess. Whatever the case is, I like this. And if it's true that they're going to keep the trunks on, I'm in. I, again, I am a fan of the trunks, but I can also do without it. It's whatever. I just like it. I think it adds a good element of separation. If the belt is red, I don't think you need trunks. But if the belt is yellow, I think you need the trunks because it looks a little ridiculous without it. Just this yellow thing on there. That's my own personal take on it, though. Whatever the case is, what do you guys think? If they're going after this and this is kind of what it's going to look like, I like it. I'm honestly down for this design. I think it's a good direction to go in.